Okay, the next one says, number two, the current in an electron beam in a cathode ray tube is three times 10 to the negative fifth amps. Three times 10 to the negative fifth amps. A stands for amps. Amps, amperes, okay, amperes, Mr. Ampere, this guy's name, French guy, okay. But we can just say A. A is amperes, okay? And A is a measure of I. I stands for, anybody? Abraham? Current. Okay, good. So what they're, what they're asking, do you know what a cathode ray tube is? Anybody? I grew up with a giant cathode, what is it? Yeah, the big TVs, that's right. I grew up with a giant cathode ray tube in my living room when I was a little kid. Giant. And all it is is this. You have a cathode and you have an anode. Okay? You have a cathode and you have an anode. And it's just a tube and you have the charges, the electrons, going from one to the other. That's all it is. Goes from the cathode to the anode. Okay? And a, an old style television set is actually a cathode ray tube. Maybe I'll make a, maybe I'll, you can look up YouTube, and you can look up cathode ray tube, and they'll have tons of them on it for you. Maybe we'll make our own cathode ray tube video. Very simple, though. It's a very simple device. Okay, so this is the charge. And what they're asking is, this is the current. They're asking for how much charge hits the screen in five seconds. So they're giving you a time, and that's going to be five seconds. And then they're asking you for Q. What is the relationship that equates Q current, and time. Anybody? Q equals current times time. What is it? Q equals current times time. That's right. Because current, current is actually, I, is actually charge per second. That's what current is. It's how much charge per second there is. Understood? So if I multiply that by, Time, if I multiply, is that it? It's IT, current and time, then the time drops out. Time cancels, and you're left with charge. Okay, so what is, what is three? So the charge is going to equal the current, which is three times 10 to the negative fifth, we'll leave off the unit labels, times five seconds. Amps is an SI measure, so you're good. You check your SI measures, you make sure everything is okay. Hour is not an SI measure. Seconds is, you have seconds, you have charge, coulombs. This is actually should be coulomb per second, right? Charge, yes? Get it? So what is, this is going to be 15 times 10 to the negative fifth, which equals 1.5 times 10 to the negative fourth, and that's going to be coulombs. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Are we good? We're done. I keep them short, well, not always, but I like to keep them short.